Montreal police are facing a barrage of questions over their actions at a protest this week. 100 people were arrested at Monday's anti-police brutality march. But it's not the uniform presence critics are taking issue with. Here's Global National's Mike Armstrong. Police were out in force Monday. Officers on foot, on horseback and in the air. It turned out they were also in the crowd. Here, a woman is arrested by seven undercover officers. She's taken through police lines to a paddy wagon. Now, police won't talk about their undercover officers, each of which was masked, but some are calling them provocateurs. There were several groups of masked infiltrators, says this march organizer. We think there were four groups of ten. Now, one group was outed. This is YouTube video from organizers. Some very tense moments as the crowd goes after the officers. At one point, an officer's kicked and rocks are thrown. The police officers that are there are... Security expert Claude Sarrazin says having officers in with the demonstrators is dangerous, but that it gives police a better idea of what's happening and where things are moving. Yeah. More and more it's being used because of the advantage it gives to the decision maker on the field to call the shot precisely. It's a fundamental abuse of democracy. David Cole saw the tactic up close and didn't like it. Put the rod down, man! Coles filed a complaint in 2007 over this face-off with an undercover officer holding a rock. The police ethics committee ruled the officers incited people to violence. The officers appealed. Almost three years later, Coles is not letting it go. Go on, it's our line! It infuriates me that they're allowed to use a police force to disrupt what is a legal democratic right of the citizens of the country. Now, critics ask if the idea is to blend in where the officers' masks needed. Most of the protesters had their faces exposed. Sarrazin says the masks help the officers get closer to the problem protesters, but organizers say they're just discrediting the movement. It's to their advantage that things don't stay calm, she says. Now, there are questions being raised of how far police can go to control a protest. There were revelations recently that protesters at this anti-Olympic rally in Victoria got there on a bus driven by an undercover officer. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal.